Hello folks, and welcome to the D. Hamblin Tiger Moth commentary. Zephyrdale's airport was kind enough to let us sit out at their one runway here while we got our video going. Now we want to get the power out when we get the power. I want to get the passenger out. Is he in front of you? Alright. This aircraft is amazing. I can pull a prop back here. That's hilarious. Alright, let's take off. Auto slats unlocked. Pull a few maneuvers and land. This is a short video introducing the Tiger Moth. That just looks like we're doing it. Sixty knots, and we'll pull a loop. A more of a stall out, but you get the point. Oh, that's what you call maneuvering, guys. We can come that close to the ground. And still get in good. Let's try for some speed for that loop the loop. And you know what? Seeing as that magneto shut off. Can't get any more power now. At 80. Alright, let's see if 80 is enough to pull a loop. It is. Seems sufficient enough to pull up. Let's do a low flyby. This aircraft was requested by a friend to be flown. And I like their choice. Very classic aircraft. Loop de loop. Very nice aircraft. Lovely to fly. I mean, you, this is like one of the, the nimble biplanes out there you can get for Flight Simulator X. And look at that. Find a biplane you can do that in. Flight Simulator X. I mean, there's probably tons, but this is one of the best, in my opinion. And of course, let's do a little old barrel roll here. We're going fast enough. Let's see if we can do a little old corkscrew. Oh, that's what I call a little corkscrew. There we go, that's what I was looking for. Alright, folks, let's come in for a little landing here. There's where my four. And we'll unlock the auto slots now that we're done with just regular cruising. Show you guys some of the lovely features of this aircraft here when we land. Awesome aircraft. A little wet today at Zephyr Hills. You can never be too high in this aircraft. It's, again, one without flaps, but it's a slow one, so it's easy to handle.
I can see the fact I'm slowing a little bit. Sorry, folks. It's nimble. I'm used to flying the big heavies. See how that one touched down correctly? That's how the Vega was supposed to go, but the Vega didn't want to do that for some reason. Let's show you guys how nimble this plane is. Look at this thing turn. This thing is nimble. Like I said, it was designed to be nimble. One designed to be a big clunky can. Tiger mouth. I don't know much about her. I know she was a trainer. Like the steerman, it's almost better than the steerman. Which is ironic. Small plane. That light and sporty. Like I said, built to maneuver. I'm surprised they just didn't do something there. It's taxi in the park. Next guys is oh, I can't tell you till you see it. You're seeing this. Look here. My mixture level does not want to respond. seems like a flaw you gotta pull back your throttle oh I get why all right folks now here for the spectacular part of the aircraft like you saw me pull this panel for let's open the pilot doors let the pilot get out take his GPS home with him pilot gets out Pilot shuts his doors, ties his plane down, puts the wheel chocks in, puts the PO2 cover on, opens up the luggage door, and just show you. Oh, wrong one. That's failures. Don't want that. And he takes what was in the luggage compartment home. Then, covers up his plane. Hope you like this video, guys. More to come.